Hello and welcome to today's edition of Frightfully Forgotten's Trash or Treasure. But before we get started, what are we drinking? The Heretic Smoked Lager. Today we're going to be talking about 1974's Blackenstein. <laughs> yeah. A couple of years back, we did our top five underrated Frankenstein films, and it didn't make the cut, but it's still worth talking about. So, is it trash or treasure? <laughs> this movie was directed by William A. Levy. He did a lot of exploitative stuff. Softcore porn <laughs> yeah. type stuff. John Hart is in this, and he did tons of TV and movie stuff, dating all the way back to 1937. And Ivory Stone is in this, and this was her only movie. Blackenstein starts off with our main character, Dr. Winifred Walker. She's visiting her old teacher from her university days, Dr. Stein. Of course, his name is Dr. Stein. He's doing some cutting edge research. She tells him this tragic thing had just happened. Her boyfriend, Eddie, went over to Vietnam and stepped on a landmine. He was horribly disfigured. He had his arms and his legs blown off. <laughs> That's pretty bad yeah. luck. Like, geez. All that's left is your torso. <laughs> He shows her around his mansion. Some of these patients he's working on, research that he's doing, he's able to do some crazy things like turn back the clock. Yeah. He's got this 90-year-old woman who he's de-aged, a man who had lost a leg, and he had actually grafted on a new leg, and it's taken very well because of this special DNA serum. So Dr. Walker takes Dr. Stein to go visit Eddie in the hospital. Before they get there, Poor Eddie, not feeling too well. He's got no arms or legs and he's laying there. Could I have some ice cream? <laughs> And this asshole orderly guy starts giving him the fucking gears. Our taxes pay for you laying here eating yeah. your ice cream. Yeah, yeah. So Dr. Stein asks Eddie if he wants to try this new procedure of actually grafting on new arms and legs. He actually is not really into it, but he goes along with it anyways, kind of for Winifred. So they take Eddie back to the laboratory and it's all colorful and there's all those sparks yeah, and like, everything. And Like you need that to reattach arms and legs. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, <laughs> All this lightning and shit. Eddie is uh, slowly making a, a recovery. Dr. Stein pulls the blankets off and limbs are growing back. Malcolm, however, has seems to have gotten a hard on for this Winifred. Comes out of nowhere, I love you. I've always loved you. <laughs> I would do anything in the world for you. <laughs> He's known her for like two days. Turns him down flat. Really pisses him off. This really pisses him off to no end. Winifred is getting the last of the serum ready. Malcolm tampers with it. They pump him full of that stuff, and he slowly starts to regress. Neanderthal. That, eyebrow. Yeah, the, the eye eyebrow it. thing, and he starts growing all this hair on his hands. They keep him in the dungeon for <laughs> yeah. no reason. He's all locked in that cave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Eddie ends up breaking out of his dungeon, goes to hunt down that asshole orderly who yeah. did him wrong there when he was in the bed. And suddenly he's in a big suit yeah, and his these shiny boots. Those shiny <laughs> boots? Where'd he get those from in the dungeon? I don't know, but he's pretty stylish though. Yeah. That's where we're gonna end the plot. But is Blackenstein trash or treasure? So let's get to the treasure first. The fact that they even made a movie called <laughs> Blackenstein is pretty amazing, so I guess that's treasure. The use of uh, lighting and shadows is really cool in this. I like the way they use the shadows to kind of harken back to the old 1930s Frankenstein movies. The shadow of the monster walking, because it did make it feel more like a Frankenstein film. And they use the shadows for the kills. They don't need to show the whole effect. The kills themselves are actually pretty decent, right? Yeah. For the type of movie that yeah. this is. It's a very low budget movie, so the effects, they're not overly flashy. It does work, right? We mentioned the shadows. See the arms come off, cut quick, and then you see the guts, yeah. you know, of yeah. somebody. And the guts look pretty good, like when he yeah. tears the guts out of that woman, he's like, Arr! Yeah, he's all kind of eating yeah. them. Another treasure for this film is the orderly. <laughs> that actor who plays the orderly kind of steals the show. He stands out because he's so damn good, and that <laughs> the little speech he has is pretty fucking funny. And he's probably the best actor of the whole movie. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. that 
little five minute yeah. bit that he has. The cheesy music too actually is kind of a treasure for this. They're kind of using that old Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, that stock <laughs> Transylvania type music that they probably just ripped off of some other movies somewhere. Yeah, yeah exactly. I wish it was more funky. Yeah. The music was more like, uh, yeah. Which brings us now to the trash of Blackenstein. <laughs> the acting oh, is God. horrible. It's atrocious. Even the guy who plays Dr. Stein, that John Hart guy, yeah. he's been around for so long, you thought he'd be good by now, but even he sucks. Yeah. The dialogue <laughs> and the script itself are pretty fucking horrible too, right? Yeah. The guy who plays Malcolm is so shitty. Like, there's no yeah. character at all. Even when he confesses his love to Dr. Walker, there's no emotion or anything. I love you. I've always loved you. <laughs> and Eddie. <laughs> the, Eddie, man, he's so bad. <laughs> Could I have some ice cream? <laughs> My throat's dry. <laughs> 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 he's like, he doesn't look like he's in pain or anything, like the guy's got no limbs. No, no, he's just laying there, like, he's just useless. Yeah. <laughs> like, why did they cast this guy? It's not like he's even some big hulk of a man that, like, okay, when he is the monster, it works. It, yeah. it, you could have cast so many people in that role, it would have been ten times better than... But I have some ice cream. Yeah, and they probably could have picked anybody <laughs> off the damn yeah. street that would have been better than him. Yeah. Even the way Blackenstein looks is goofy, you know, yeah. which, which I guess it kind of should be because it's a goofy movie, but they put him in the Frankenstein outfit. Like, at least make him more yeah. funky yeah, or something. something different. It's something right? to make him a bit more memorable. Kind of cool boots, yeah. but that's about He's all. He's got the 70s boots and that's it. Yeah, that's it. He kind of reminds me of one of those old cartoon characters, the gangsters, that are, yeah. they got the huge body and yeah. then their feet are like <laughs> yeah, that big. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's exactly what he looks like. The pacing for this movie is just god awful too, like, it, it takes way too long for Eddie to turn into Blackenstein, it's like 40 minutes into the movie yeah. or whatever. And then when he does turn into Blackenstein, it's still super slow because there's all that wasted time of him just, yeah, Arr. These super long shots of him like walking from one end of the room to the other like you, <laughs> yeah. you could have cut that like a long time ago we know he's walking yeah yeah you just show him leaving the building <laughs> yeah. we don't need to show him going from room to room uh, and down the stairs and the and... funny thing is because as, as slow as he is how does he get everywhere so quick <laughs> I don't like know. suddenly he's just at that hospital that, I don't know how far it is it's like <laughs> At that speed, it would be like daytime by the time he yeah. got there. <laughs> then it's time for him to turn back around and go, <laughs> go to sleep go home. again. For a movie that's only an hour and 15 minutes, how can it feel this slow? Yeah. It should feel like it's, yeah, it's like hitting all the paces quick. And all that wasted time, like there's a scene in a nightclub where it shows this guy who's like kind of hosting the nightclub tell this super long, like five minute joke. It's not even funny, and, and it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't lead anywhere. It just goes outside and has a smoke, and like that's the <laughs> yeah. end of it. Like, what? Why do you even have it? You couldn't use those five minutes for something else. <laughs> yeah. The setting for the movie is not very inventive a at all. It's kind of like they used somebody's house or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah. Rather than trying to create sets. Editing and the structure of this movie is kind of all pissy. Like we said with that nightclub scene, doesn't need to be there at all. But there's also scenes that kind of it just suddenly they happen, you don't know how we got there. Near the end, suddenly that Malcolm guy is like trying to rape Dr. Walker. Yeah. But how do they, you don't know how they got in that room together. She's already kind of unclothed already and he's like half naked too. Like, yeah. how did we get there? And then suddenly Blackenstein's like on the stairs on his way up to go save her. But how did he know? And like, how did he get up to the stairs? Like, it's like we missed a big chunk of the movie. Probably filmed it. <laughs> Put in that, that nightclub guy by accident instead. <laughs> yeah. The footage they really needed. It was the guy's brother or something <laughs> doing the editing. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna put him in. The ending is... It's almost pointless. It comes out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's like they just had to wrap the movie up. Invokes no emotion whatsoever. Wagon shows up with dogs inside, and the dogs come out and just tear Blackenstein to pieces, it's like limb to limb. <laughs> and that's the yeah, end of the movie. <laughs> it's like credits start. It comes out of nowhere. It's like, what, they, they ran out of money or something? <laughs> and, like, they couldn't 
finish filming the movie, they got, we got to wrap it up tonight. Yeah. How are we going to do it? I don't know. There's some dogs over here. <laughs> Let's, uh, like, all those mean ass <laughs> Dobermans, too. It's okay to get a swerve every once in a while, but you're really expecting that you know, Dr. Walker's going to have to kill Eddie, you yeah. know, the love of her life, because he's a monster now. And there'd be some tragic thing. Ooh, you There's know. nothing. She's not even there. She's nowhere even near the, the, the scene at the end where he dies. These dogs just come and eat him, and then. That's it. It's That's like, the end of Blackenstein. There's no closure with this ending <laughs> whatsoever. No. It leads you to not give a shit <laughs> about the rest of the movie, too, right? Blackenstein, trash or treasure? It's trash. Blackenstein is trash. The only reason I watched it the second time is for this review. If I didn't have to do this review, I would never have touched it again. I was intrigued by it. Well, me too. That's yeah. why I watched it a few years ago for the top five underrated Frankenstein movies. Got kind of intrigued because I had never seen Blackula. I checked it out, and yes, Blackula is much better than Blackenstein. So if you want to choose between the two, throw this one away and watch <laughs> Blackula instead because it's actually pretty enjoyable. Way funkier, more fun, and it, it's just, just a better movie all around. Too bad uh, Blackenstein was so bad and they didn't continue making these. Should have seen Blunch Black of Bloater Blame. I would have loved to have seen Blunch Black of Bloater Blame. Funky. So until next time, keep drinking.